Welcome to our channel, Lady T. My name is Natalie. Look at how adorable this already is. Okay, this is bear and breakfast. And I can't wait. I'm first going to go for the options and then we'll start the game. We are going to get started. I'm so excited. Please be a good game. <gasps> this is already so cute and so beautiful. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Oh no. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. It's clockwork. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there, except for clockwork. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not going to be sleeping with that creep. Oh. Hello? You're so cute. I can't move. I noticed. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. You're so cute. Move. I'm sorry? Can't do that either. Okay, the W A S D to move around. Well, that's convenient. Oh, he's so d find. You mean like an introspection thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the death bed. <laughs> I love it. E to interact. That's so scary. Don't. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. <laughs> Bear with the attitude. Wake. Don't wake. Oh. This is not going to be like stray, right? That it. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. Uh oh, better see what's up. Are we living in a cave? Oh, sleep is overrated achievement. Oh, and this is the door. Oh, cute. Oh, we come. Can we go in here? Is this a door? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, mom. I'm up. I'm up. We are called Hank. Well, aren't you a bag of boats? <laughs> Good to see you too, mother. Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides... Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> well, <laughs> no mother. No shit, I had not given that a second of a thought. Gee, thanks, mom. No, I'm... Um, where's Annie? Oh, in a room with Vil, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, Annie. Uh, while in adventure mode, you can control Hank using... Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think that we maybe have to go... Oh, this opened up. Good! Get out. Morning! Out. It's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. I don't think you need to smell. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful. Both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What did I tell ya? I live for the hunt! How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. Yeah, that sounds like grand old time. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. 
Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You are on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. I love your energy. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Poor babies. Okay. Hang, kids. Over here. Mama. Get your dick and claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. I first want to check out some things. In adventure mode you can walk around, interact with things and pick up items in your inventory. What is denim anime? <laughs> it's cool. It's neat. Okay, so we need stuff to unlock areas. As expected, of course. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep alright? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go... On the hunt! Alright, point me to it. Point me to the hole. It's a black moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good. And I need your help. <gasps> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. <sighs> I mean, um, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, take... This is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Awesome. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. Alright, you three. And remember you're getting the bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. I have a... F it's... Nice out now. Can't read what it says. Okay. Uh, okay. To your surprise, Margaret has asked you to travel southeast into Black Moss. Once there, you should look for a bush of alligator weed. Okay. These are the Oh, this is my character. We have furniture items, cooking items, crafting items, clothing, fuel, and quests. A half-empty notebook ready to be filled with stuff you shouldn't forget. If this page says to, it says to my love, allows tracking quests. Oh, okay. Oh, we can hide. Oh, nice. We can only sleep at night and we have options. Um, well, maybe we have to go here because there is a little arrow up there. Perhaps, maybe. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the spoofing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Karelian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. That's a mood. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious. But maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Uh huh. I have a feeling. We are in Black Moss. Alright, gang. Sp spread out! Uh huh. And they're already gone. Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Okay. What the frick? 
What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found a thing for your mom yet. And we think. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some Gatorade. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. And they're gone. Oh, oh, oh. Can we walk? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. That's one big rock. Okay, I'll go to certain death. Buses. Little rebel. We are at the timber crossing. It's a shark thingy. A luxurious outhouse. Plus requests per day. Okay, there's something happening here already. Oh, we collected four valuables. Okay, we are collecting stuff. Crafting too. Okay, so we need to fix things. Take all. I have that. All it's missing is a picnic basket. But how do we start the BMB? Itchy food just means more. F oh, yeah, we already said that. The reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on a Monday. Maybe? There are no tasks to be done in this area at the moment. Nothing to lose, nothing to, great, to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Okay. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little grey speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. No, nothing. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there. Fine. Gentleman in the uh, orange coat? I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And, I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. It's probably not... It's not existent. How exactly are you talking? Bon Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your friend corporation. What the... It's a scheme. Offering secure touristy adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all inclusive fougier for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or an heirloom. Pawn Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises. We're desperate. No matter how run down or decrepit, we don't care about our customers. To offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve, which is garbage. Wait, for humans? To live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. Well, that, that, that's, yes, that's why we go on holidays. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. 
If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pawn for Yas Premium Premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating and bringing it, bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a rep representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primer quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoiled sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Hank. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Is that right? Within the adventure mode menu you have two optional. If you're not a fan of the dark after midnight, you can sleep under the following morning. It's also adventures as fans as time. And if you like to see inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof. Yeah, I saw that. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Okay. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. Very standard. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obliged, obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. I mean, Margaret, the mother, must be thinking like, what is taking so long? They promised her they wouldn't do anything except for the alligator weed and then they come back and they're like, yeah, we sort of got stuck in a housing scheme and we're now running a and b and we have a different life now. Goodbye, mother. <laughs> Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. <laughs> he won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt you have left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That will get him going. Okay, we just follow the arrow. Maybe that's a sn or a sniffing sense. We just sniff, sniff, sniff. Find Tony the beaver. Oh, of course it's a freaking beaver. Take it all. I don't know why we're collect. Well, uh, we, we have an idea of why we're collecting it. We're not stupid. Probably for building purposes. Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? Maybe because that doesn't work. Of course, the beaver is building something. It's all mine now. Sorry if you were using it, beaver friend. I wonder where. If tree this big would fit. I heard something. Please tell me that we can't die. I don't want to die. Before we go in, I just want to have as much stuff as we can. There. My god, a bear! Oh, you're so adorable. It's just me, sir. Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? 
her. I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's the shark and timber crossing. Oh, oh! A redwood plague for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. We haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. I mean, he's standing in the house. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mail here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here! Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Oh, can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. I think I've already got them. Yep, I've got it right here. Grant, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Okay. Help the little help. It's so cute. Such a cute game already. So much better than Stray that made me believe it was cute, but it wasn't. Now all my wood is gone. Or is it? No, not all of it. Great. Oh, you can interact with materials in the world to loot their contents. Press the e in the container the screen to take everything inside it quickly. You can also split stacks on multiple items. Scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically. Wood will be found near trees, stone and marbles near rock, junk around the garbage dump and so on. Store any extra materials in the stash near the pawn voyage car in each area. Okay. We already have a storage facility then. Meet Tony back in Timber Crossing. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed? Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look, we decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. We're not worrying about our mother then. She's taking all of it. Did you clean up the shed? Yes. Yep. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The wood? Well, you can't harm or nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. You can repair various objects in the world by gathering their required materials. Workbenches will allow you to build and craft in that area. Monuments will improve stat status of the area and attract more guests. Passages will be cleared and bridges will be repaired to allow access. That is made. Can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. It's so good. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. He's like, oh, stupidity. Ooh. My baby's first building. You have plenty of time to get better. 
now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, spring springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it will do. Ponfia has visited the shop to find new items available for purchase. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe, the shabby pellet bed recipe. Go make one. Mm -hmm. Craft a bed. Okay, good. We can build extra rooms. This is so nice. Were you able to make that bed? Yep. I've got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than a schematic. What? But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Use the workbench to build and edit rooms within the cabinets of your results. Access build mode and pick a room. Okay, I think we got it. For comfort. Bedroom. Maybe this is big enough? Can we switch your room? Oh, oops. Add door, add a window, add a door. Add room, add a window. What was that? Uh, never mind. What am I doing? Okay, is it done? Better room minimum size. Bed. Okay, the requirements are met. Okay. I'm trying to move, but oh wait. I'm just being stupid. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes sir, stains and all. Brilliant, I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their full sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Oh yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. A front desk recipe. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. But there's nothing else in it. Oh, here we are. Front desk recipe. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. There's barely anything in it, though. Shabby wooden bed recipe. We don't have any money. Wooden footrest recipe. Okay, and we already have the bed. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's how we learn it. Okay. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Yeah, we know. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Good. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbinger harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask Tank. All he knew for sure was that was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Yeah, that didn't work out. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Front desk can be used to manage your results. The resort overview panel will show all the... Uh, all the active resorts you've discovered. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vac vacancy status and scores. Every morning new guests will request to stay your resort. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button to accept a, a guest request. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the quest guest's demand for better reviews and payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you are off on an adventure in another location, your resource will still run. I just don't want stress. Okay, we have done all of that. Okay, so this should work. The wooden wood. It's a level one bedroom object. A footrest. Great, and we don't have anything else we can build. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands and as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay. Okay, we can restore this, but we don't have copper plate or a bus sign. So that's probably something for the long run. Okay. Let's just... We are already on day three. I don't really mind the time going fast so far. So eventually we don't have to walk everywhere, I think. That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. <laughs> Hi. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble? No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look in the dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um... Authoritative height? 
Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus to bowed across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Find a sandwich. Where would we find a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Coming from the south. Oh, and we have the thing here again. do it yourself okay good luck and immediately goes to bed she just arrived and it's morning so but fine well hello there bud aren't you a good looking one haven't seen your likes of other boosters before. I like your hair. Oh, what a kind look at but you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Ah, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in broken down tracks before this account. Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any boats since, well, in years. You probably know these place, places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me? She usually hangs around the fire watch tower. Great! I don't think you could handle the bus life either. The first going to go to Creepy. Can't open this yet. So many trashes. So did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Still bread, crunchy cheese, we got mustard. That's all I could find. Mmm, just like mom used to make. Alright, you British drama. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. I mean real valuables. Okay, and I've... Oh! Garbage, garbage. Small beer painting. Yes, please. Jinky floor. It's not that good. A welcome mat. Flower face. Let's just take some stuff. Some drawers. This is janky. A small nightstand. Ew, and that is disgusting. Ah, love the light. Okay, then we're first going to decorate with what you just caught. I'll be right with you. bear. There we go. We have scratched the envelope. And that was it. 
Okay, we've already made the room a bit better. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Is it me? Are you scared of me? Oh yeah, he's scared of me. Oh, this is... We haven't seen this before. Oh! Hello. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. Bubbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Ah, just joking, yeah. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine if you're my mom. But I like um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver license and I and I had a much, much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Sure. Here, you can have this. It will help you find your way back faster. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That is so much easier. Back already, bud? Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Yes, I did. Oh, you're the man, bud. Aubert, sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Bud, she found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all of this f out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, that's sawdust and high lake. And look, this is where we are. Well, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. This place is a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. Just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know. No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all. I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix this up like you did with the old storage shed. I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Thank you. Look, the first one's right there next to the shed. How about it? I'll look at it. Thank you for underestimating a bear. There was one. And there's also one over here. So nice. Did you get a bus stop fix? Yes, I did. That's great news, bud. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy, one of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took on the other hand was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. 
A strange pair that lived in a peculiar harmony. That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose as already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. It's one of his toolbox. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. We got an old computer. Huh. We just saved, so we're going to stop here. Thank you so much for watching. I like the game so far. It's so cute and adorable. It's just going to be the best bear B&B that we could ever be. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Have a good one. Goodbye.